All right. We've been hearing from you all on social media and we appreciate it. This viewer says pray for Orangeburg. I don't think everyone completely understands the magnitude of a school sh shooting yet. It's scary that you can't even be safe or find refuge at school anymore. We need a culture shift. All right, another viewer had this to say. Hamilton Grant says heartbreaking news. Uh, and praying for the Bruin family and Orangeburg community all together. And just to answer the question really quickly, I just got a message from a viewer there in Orangeburg who said um, the Technology Center is right down the road from Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. It's probably only about two football fields away around the curve. So that's where the students are right now holding in place, waiting to be dismissed. This message from Bakari Sellers, prayers for my high school OW, another school shooting. Brooklyn Casey football praying for Orangeburg Wilkinson students and staff. God bless. Now we did hear from some parents of football players who said they were actually in the gym waiting for practice to begin when the shooting happened. So we know that the football players were inside at the time. Heard from a parent. This from oh, our own Nija who said Orangeburg Wilkinson High School students have been moved to the Technology Center. Parents need to bring their ID. That's from our own News 19's Nija Hood. Um, and again, we just heard from a parent in Orangeburg who says that that Technology Center is just down the road from the high school. Again, viewers just in dismay that something like this is happening, shooting at kids at the high school in Orangeburg. South Carolina High School Sports Group sending out this tweet. Our thoughts and prayers are with everyone at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School right now. All right, and this is the tweet I was talking about earlier from our own Jamie Harrison. Many people know him well. He is now DNC chair, has his new position, and he said this, gun violence has no boundaries and touches every person in our community. This is my high school, my alma mater, the school where I taught social studies in my hometown of Orangeburg. I am thinking about the Bruin community, the students and their families. And he was responding again to the story here on WLTX. Again, we've got live coverage from Orangeburg as we continue to follow uh, the developments of this shooting early this afternoon at dismissal at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. We are at the Technology Center. Uh, there are students on this bus who were transported from the school to the Technology Center. Thanking our viewers for updating us on the distance from the high school to the Technology Center. Our viewer, uh, Andrea, tweeted at yep. you and said what now? Kobe Boyd, thank you so much. You said I'm watching you and Darcy now. I heard the question that you asked your journalist. The Technology Center is right down the road from OW High School. It's just about two football fields away and around the curve. Thank you, Kobe, um, for letting us know that. You know, here's the scene, though, of these parents. We have seen these folks gathered now. Darcy and I have been on the set since about 440 this afternoon and they have been gathered pacing talking to each other looking at their phones many have taken time to talk to law enforcement at one point we saw a sheriff's deputy just on the left hand side of our screen who had a notebook out and was taking notes we see a highway patrol trooper right there on the left hand side as well we know everybody it was all hands on deck everybody responding to this to try and keep kids safe and prevent any further um, injuries, anybody else from getting hurt. As we know now, three students were shot today outside of the high school. We do know all three and our prayers are that they are expected to be okay. According to the school district, they are expected to be okay. But here's one member of law enforcement who's talking to parents. Our own Nija Hood is at the Technology Center right now and she told us just moments ago that of this entire group that she has seen the entire time she's been standing there, nobody has been reunited with their children yet. And I gotta say too, Darcy, it's a hot day outside. It is. On on top of everything else, it's 90 degrees outside, plus that more than that with humidity. And these parents have been standing there after getting the worst news a parent expects. Um, my heart goes out to them because you know they just want to run across that road mm -hmm. right now and run inside that building and grab their babies, as we all would want to do in this situation. So this just breaks my heart because you know, um, they just want to talk to their kids and, and hug them and put their arms around them. But again, 
law enforcement doing their due diligence like Sheriff Lee Foster um, said to us that they have to talk to each person, see what each person saw. Um, you know, there might have been Darcy, somebody that even saw the shooter and recognized that shooter. And it's important that we do continue to tell our viewers we don't know if that shooter has been arrested. We have not gotten confirmation from law enforcement. We have teams on the ground there, but we haven't even had word about whether or not there's going to be a media briefing, a press conference later from law enforcement. Um, as soon as we get that information, we will share it with you and we will go on air and on all of our social media platforms to bring you that information. But uh, when talking with Sheriff Foster, we had some questions about what happens in a situation like this and and should we be surprised that there was not more law enforcement going towards the school and he said since it was a drive-by shooting that's what he and he had, doesn't have any first-hand information on the investigation but he said knowing what he does from what he's heard in the media reports it is not surprising to him that law enforcement was not going to the school instead using their resources to try to track down the suspect or suspects